In this quick tutorial, I'll show you how to design a custom background in Photoshop. Let's jump in. First, go to File and click New to create a new document. I'm naming the document Custom Background. Use the same document settings shown in the tutorial, then click Create. Now select the Paint Bucket tool. Open the Color Picker and choose any color you like. I'm choosing black. Then click OK. Click once on the canvas to fill the background. Next, select the brush tool. Open the brush settings and under the general brushes section, choose soft round pressure opacity brush. Now click and drag the top node of the brush shape downward to adjust the brush shape as shown. Make sure your brush shape looks similar to the one shown in the video. Use the bracket keys to adjust brush size. Use the left and right arrow keys to rotate the brush. Open the color picker again and choose a different color from the first one. I'm choosing white. Now make a few clicks on the canvas to draw white spots just like shown. Press Ctrl and J to duplicate the background layer. Convert this duplicated layer into a smart object. Go to Filter and choose Liquify. Make sure the Forward Warp tool is selected. Set the pressure to 100 and enable pin edges. Now drag and distort the white spots as shown in the tutorial. Once you get a similar result, click OK. Press Ctrl and J again to duplicate this layer. Double click on Liquify under the new duplicate layer to open its Liquify window. Drag and distort the shape slightly differently than before for the new duplicate. Click OK once you're done. Change the blending mode of this new duplicate layer to Exclusion. Now we need to remove unwanted parts. Click the Layer Mask button to add a mask to the new duplicate layer. Select the Brush tool. In the General Brushes, choose Soft Round Brush. Make sure the layer mask is selected and the brush color is set to black. Now brush over and erase unwanted areas as shown. Once that's done, add a hue saturation adjustment layer. Enable colorize. Then adjust the sliders to get good looking colors for the background. I feel there are still some unwanted areas, so I'm selecting the layer mask again and erasing a bit more using a soft round brush. After that, I'll adjust the hue saturation settings again to refine the colors. Now add a curves adjustment layer. Adjust the curve as shown to increase the contrast. Finally, go back to hue saturation one more time and fine-tune the colors until everything looks good. I think this looks good now. That's it. You've learned how to create a unique custom background in Photoshop. If this helped you, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.